What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Sorry it's a little dark, it's kind of early in the morning. But, you'll notice, I'm in the truck, and I have the trailer, so that can only mean good things. We're going to pick up, uh, I don't want to call it a new project, because it's something for the current project. But, uh, we're going to pick up something for the 78. Not the one getting, not the good one. The other one. The one I have ignored for the last six months. But, finally getting onto that, the, uh, the good 78. It's hard to, you know, describe them. The, the good 78, the one that needed to be painted, is at the painters right now. So that's good. That's very good things. So we're going to jump onto the other car now, get back onto it, and get some progress done on it. Now, if you remember, that car, that car is a little rusty. It needs floorboards, trunk pan, tail panel, yada, 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 yada all this normal Pontiac stuff. So, we have a solution to that, and it is not buy all the sheet metal and fix it. So, we're going to head out here. Uh, I got another two hours it says and uh i'll show you what it is when we get there all right let's go ta-da i bought a race car now history on this thing we don't know guy i bought it from bought it from a guy who's gonna use his decoration in front of a bar decided not to he was, in truck, he was into racing, but he said they didn't, they decided not to go this far. They were just doing modified, I don't know what you want to call it. Anywho, so this is it. It's, uh, yeah, this is all she is. Just a body and a roll cage and a frame. Now, so the plan is to use this for this. This car, y'all, oh, I don't think I've gotten to this video yet. Anyway. I made a video diving a little deeper into this thing. But anyway, the floors are rotted out. Trunk pans are rotted out. Frame's got a little bit of rust in it. Front subframe bushings are gone. The whole front suspension needs to be redone. The brakes are all garbage. It's missing half the wheel studs. It's got drum brakes in the back. This in the front, but basically everything would have to be redone. Priced out brakes alone on the front. Rotors, hubs, bearings yada yada the caliper i tried so hard to believe these things they wouldn't bleed calipers all that good stuff that alone was 700 dollars, something like that so i got this whole thing for a steal i think i got this whole thing for two thousand dollars and it's got large hubs on the front big disc brakes all the way around it came with the rotors calipers i got a whole nother second set of rotors and everything in it Nothing in it inside, other than just a tub and a cage and everything. It's got some headers, but those are for a 602, I was told. But yeah, so the plan is, cut the underside of this thing out, plot the body on this. Now, question is, will it fit? This is a 105 inch wheelbase. This is a 108 inch wheelbase. So, small problems. Eh. If we have to stretch it, we have to stretch it. Not the biggest deal in the world. This thing is a rectangle tube. Chassis all the way back, and you know the roll cage. I'm I will be cutting out this. I do want to put a passenger seat in this thing. So if we have to stretch it, not a big deal. We'll zip it down the middle. We'll just have to widen the door bars and everything else. But it seems like a good plan to me. I've seen a bunch of videos of people. I've seen a ton of videos of people doing this. I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. This is seems like a fairly simple plan. This is cheaper than it would cost to fix this. Floor pans, trunk pans, brakes, suspension, all that good stuff. And uh, at least in my mind, <clears throat> these hubs, these rotors, everything are better than this. It's got four-wheel disc brakes all the way around. Uh, yeah. So that's this. First thing we're going to do is get this body off. We're going to get this frame fresh out of here. See what we can do. I think it's got a three-link, I want to say, back here in the back. I don't know. We're going to pull this body off. It's barely being held on. Bumper wasn't being held on. And uh, let's, let's see what we got. So let's dive into this thing.
All right, so, got the body off. Anybody's wondering? This is what a frame looks like underneath. Now, this thing has tubes everywhere. I can already tell some things are gonna have to go. These side skirts stick out too much, but that's fine. We'll cut it back to the frame. So on the other side, that's gonna have to go. I can guarantee you that. These stick out real far. These stick out real far. So we'll have to trim a bunch of stuff on this. But this is the frame. This is the chassis, everything. Got a full on roll cage going on up in here. Like I said, tubes are going everywhere. Plan I'm gonna do right now is this gonna go. I'm gonna cut all this out all the way back where all the tubes go. Only thing I have a problem with is this tube is part of that. So we either have to cut it and bring it down the frame or maybe go up or maybe both. We'll deal with that in a little bit. Uh, I think I'm gonna do right now, get this thing up on some jack stands, probably pull the wheels off of it. Just to give me some more working room. See what's going on with the rear axle. I don't even know how that's bolted in. I see it's got trailing arms in it, but. Let's pull that out. Where the wheels off, I mean. We'll get it up in the air. Probably end up start hacking off these little bumper supports. That rusty one back there. See if we can't cut this cage part out. Then, uh, then we'll have to start measuring because this thing, like I said, I know it's wider than this is. So we gotta measure and see how far we gotta cut in. I know we gotta lengthen it a little bit. I wanna say it's three inches. We'll figure that out. I'm on the fence and I guess width wise will tell me Think about getting rid of the door bars, maybe, and just running a crossbar so in and out ain't a so we don't have to slide through the windows. Basically, I don't want to slide through the windows. I'd like to keep the full door here so I can roll the window up and down because I do plan. I want to make this car drivable, which means I want to put air conditioning in it. So we'll see. We'll see. Let's get this thing up, get the wheels off of it, and we can start hacking parts off of it. All right, we got the tires off on jack stands. True racing fashion, every single one of these rims has a different number on it. That one says number 35 on it. That one's got a name Ross on the back of it. This one says 95 and this one says five. So you never know. I guess they were borrowing parts. So one of the cool things I noticed about this setup, I got the brake rotors off it. That's why it's weird. These hubs are massive, which is good. This car must've been set up. I don't know this disclaimer. I know zero things about racing. So if I say something wrong, because I'm ignorant. This car is set up, I guess, you know, the racetracks are sloped. So they got different suspension on each side. The A arms are a little bit different than each other. That coil spring is bigger and shorter than that one is. And same thing in the back. The coil springs are a little different on each side. Same big hubs in the back. But it's pretty neat. It actually, I thought it was a three link. It's not. It's got two, eight, two arms coming out of it. It's got a hard mount to it, I guess. I don't know. It's got limiting chains on it. And a, I don't know if you want to call that a sway bar. It's kind of a ghetto sway bar, but I guess at the same time in racing, you, 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 you're kind of only going one way. But anywho, this thing is a locker. Both sides spin. Can you see? Anyway. It's kind of nifty. So, now that off, next thing I'm gonna do, like I said, I think I'm gonna go ahead and cut off what I know I have to cut off, which is gonna be this rear bar, that cage bit right there, and this front bash bar, and all these little brackets and stuff. I'm just gonna cut them off. But yeah, set up, it's got a regular GM steering box going on on it, so that's good and easy. I got more than enough room to put a motor and everything in there. Uh, what I'm going to end up doing is putting the 400 out of this thing. And it has a 350 automatic in it, but I am going to do a Trek 5 speed. So hopefully that'll put the rubber to it. And we can get some good things going on out of this bad boy. But like I said, for right now, let's go ahead and jump in. We're just going to start cutting everything off that I know is junk. We'll move on from there. So, went in and cut that out and then I stopped and said, you know what? Went in and said, let me measure some stuff first. I got really worried for a minute. One, I found a giant yellow jacket's nest over there. Two, I got very concerned because of this car. I measured from the inside of the rocker to the inside of the rocker, so on the inside of the car, it's about 56 inches. 
This car, from a roll cage to roll cage, is about 70 almost. So that was concerning, but if you look, see how the, you get the main frame rail right there? Got a bunch of dead yellow jackets in there. This one has a double frame rail. It's got this one and this one. Why? I don't know, but it does. But if you measure where this inner frame rail stops right here is the same width as the other one is, at least towards the front suspension. So this frame rail is extra. And if you look, I measure these roll bars stick out further than that one does. So if we hack out all the door bars, this, this, and all this, hack out this second frame rail, and obviously hack out those door bars, from that frame rail, from that frame rail, to this inner frame rail, outside to outside, is 57 inches, I believe it was. It's about half an inch bigger than this is. So we can shave some of the inner rockers on these to make them fit. So we are good, crisis avoided. I do have to cut out these door bars. That is definitely gonna have to go or we'll never get this to fit because it's a good almost foot wider. So we're gonna hack out all these door bars, which I kind of, which I wanna do anyway because I wanna use full doors. And then we're gonna hack off this second frame rail out here and then We'll be good to go. We should be nice and straight. So I measured this piece and this piece and they're the same size. So this rock was just added on, I guess, to stick the driver over a little bit more. I'm not quite sure. Either way, we're gonna make it work. So I got a lot of cutting to do. Those things, those are some thick pipe. My little sawzall is very unhappy about it. So I guess I'm gonna go buy about a 50 pack of blades and just jump back in this thing. Let's start cutting out some metal and see where that leads us. One, definitely quicker than the Sawzall. You know, gym shorts and tennis shoes aren't probably ideal, but hey, we're making progress. Gotta do the other side. And chop the frame rail off. All this has gotta go. This, cut that bracket, cut that off. Cut this back. Cause it's gonna be a tight squeeze to get between the frame rail, so. Everything else hanging, everything hanging past here, has gotta go. Right. We're, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this one side here. We'll cut this off first. Here's the next side, rinse and repeat. Alrighty, just like that, we are ready to stretch this thing. Got the door bars cut out. 
whatever that little lip thing was there. Uh, the bars that were in here cut out. They were there, there, went through the firewall, up to there. I didn't need to come back. I think I'm gonna come back and try to brace this, maybe just weld a little piece under there just to help it. Uh, trimmed all this. Got the rear bumper crap cut off because it was in the way. Trimmed all this, and this actually, it was a second one of these welded to it, and then it had that trim piece out, so I cut all that off. Because that makes it even, it, it actually works out almost perfect. This thing is the exact width from inner rocker to inner rocker, and from here to here is about half an inch to an inch difference. So we should, this should be looking good. Like I said, I gotta cut this down the middle and stretch it four inches, I wanna say it is. Uh, got some metal coming on order. I got pipe that's gonna fit on the inside of here, so I'm gonna weld it on the inside, and then I'll scab another piece on top just to make it look pretty, because that's gonna bother me if not. And then same thing on here, I'm gonna cut it, add a sleeve on the inside, and then I'll add a sleeve on the outside. And then I just gotta extend the floor pans. As you can see, I got a brace that runs all the way across there to there. So I'm gonna cut it in front of this brace where it'll be just sheet metal. There is one piece that comes kind of right here to here. So I'll have to cut those on both sides. You can see there's the transmission cross member. It connects to it right there. So we'll have to lengthen that too. Not a big deal. Like I said, I think it's only four inches. So all in all, not a huge problem. We'll chop this thing in half, spread her out like that. But that's me the end of this video. Step one. Um, I've ordered the metal, like I said, I'm waiting on it. I'm gonna go ahead and start, I wanna pull the engine out of this thing, cause like I said, the drivetrain for this is gonna be the 400. We know it runs, we know it works. And then I'm using this uh, Trimic TKO, I think it is, I don't know. Got a bell housing, flywheel, and a clutch right there for it. The roll bearings in that box. And then my clutch pedal set up right here. Came with the car, this is my brake clutch. This car ran, apparently, dual brake individual master cylinders for front and rear and then a master for the uh clutch so that's what i'm gonna put back in it we'll run that again <clears throat> that's gonna be it for this video appreciate y'all watching stay tuned because i am definitely gonna be working on this thing a lot like i said i think i mentioned the uh the black pontiac is actually out of the paint shop right now i don't know if you can see what this is we're waiting on that to come back they said it's a couple weeks so it's been a little over two so it should be in the next few weeks it'll get back and then we were going to decal that car i got a bunch of little stuff for it some visors door panels and stuff and that car will be done and then we can fully focus on this bad boy and this thing cut out and we're gonna go from there so appreciate y'all watching like i said there's gonna be plenty of videos on this coming out soon but uh thank y'all for watching hit us with like and subscribe if you would and we will see y'all in the next video uh. This truck, this truck, this inner framer where it stops. Freaking mall playing on my leg. I measured. Yeah.